Welcome to Stacy Podcast. When he was a child, his father was also good and interested in doing this job. His father did not teach him anything. He was not able to study to the place, to the place, not because the house did not have conditions. In the past, his house was a landlord. After the reform, all land was confiscated. From then on, poverty took over his life. But when he went to school, there was no tuition fee, no cost. Because he was so busy playing and playing, he was so passionate that it was time to take the exam for good students, but he still refused to take the exam. Then his father was not interested in his studies. If you don't like studying, I'll give you a break, do whatever you like. His father must have thought so. Grandpa, go fishing with your father. In the past, in the countryside about a few dozen kilometers from the outskirts of Hanoi, there were countless fish. There are plenty of places to fish. Every time he went fishing with his father, he and his son could catch a whole weight and carry it to the market to sell. The old salmon sold cheaply, but still had money. Having money will be able to do the things you want, like buy a food you like. His mother used to sell fish. After the glory days of fishing in his family, many changes took place. The land is divided and has been built up quite a lot. By the time he devoted himself to fishing after his father had died, there were only a few small rivers in the fields. The sinking river, with a radius of more than a meter, moderate depth is the largest and deepest river flowing in his village's fields. The fish must be beaten forever. Fishing is becoming more and more difficult day by day. The older his children, the higher the tuition. What should I do? His family has six people, with six mouths to eat, the government distributes more than six acres of fields. When his children were young, more than six acres of that field was enough to provide them with three meals a day and school fees. But, then those six poles didn't go anywhere. He has a lot of talent for knitting. He is very nice, always helping people. That's why the day he died a few years later, but no one knew the reason, it could only be because of working too hard, everyone around the world came to see him off, like bid farewell to the benefactor who once helped him. Although he was born into a poor and hardworking family, but that's enough, his children, very proud to have a father like him. It's just, they can't talk to you. He fished along the river, came to the field at the confluence of the culvert. The intersection of two rivers because there was a river there, it merged with the sinking river so it became a fork, then stopped. There was a relatively long drain there. When it rains, fish often swim downstream. Due to catching a lot, understanding the biology of fish, he often uses a fishing rod against the fast-flowing water. If fish swim with the current, they will get stuck in the water. He used another net, with a relatively moderate link, stood on the bank, used a fishing rod he hooded himself, dropped the net along the river near the junction that he came to that position.